Hello everyone, welcome back to Origami Canada. This is for Halloween, a clown mask. And I'm going to teach you how to make this today. This might be a little bit tough for beginners, but take your time and I bet you'll know how to make it in the end. Stay tuned. So we're gonna get started by taking out one sheet of paper and preferably it's white on one side and another color on the other. We're going to start by folding the paper halfway into a triangle like this. Sharpen that crease, open it, do it on this side as well. We're going to open that again and fold the rectangular halves. And we're doing all of these steps on the colored side. As you can see, our last fold is like this. Make sure you line up everything. And we're gonna open it. And we can see all the intersections in the midpoint here. So we're gonna fold the top corner towards the midpoint like this. And the bottom, we're just gonna flip to the back and fold to the midpoint. Like this. And I'm gonna open up this bottom again and flip back to the front. So we have the model looking like this right now. And what we wanna do now is fold these bottom two edges right against this and this line. So I'll just show you what that means. Like this. Make sure you're lining it up before you make the fold. Same thing on this side. We're going to line it up like this. So we have these creases. Now we're done with all the creasing, we're gonna fold it inside like this. So we're bringing these two together and squashing this square just with all the existing creases that we ha already have. So the model looks like this right now. Kind of like a diamond shape, but with more structures. We're gonna make a gentle pinch, lining this corner with the bottom. Like this, just pinch it gently. And then we're gonna align this corner to that intersection right there, like this. So I'll just bring it in closer to show you guys like this. And we're going to do the crane fold. This might be tough for beginners, but essentially you're going to fold these top side edges towards the middle like this, and then unfold them, this one as well. So you unfold these, and then you, you, you can pull up this pocket like this, open up this pocket, and then bring these sides in towards the middle. And it's gonna be exactly that. It's like a crane base. For those of you that made a crane, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, it's the same thing. So after we've done that, I'm gonna flip to the back, and work on the top here. I'm gonna line this edge and this edge both towards the middle. So we're gonna do this one first, like that, and then this one. So they look like this right now. We're gonna turn back to this side, the front side. And with these folds that we just did, we can align this fold right against the middle to make a 45 or a 22.5 degree angle with the top. Just We're just subdividing the angles over here. Same thing with this one. Unfold. So now our creases look like this and we're gonna look into this part now. So based off of this crease and this crease, we can open up this pocket from the side 
and squash out a triangle like that and point that triangle right towards the base of that crane structure we just did like that and we're going to align this top edge against this one so we're just dividing this 45 degree angle like this and with these two creases over here this one and this one we can actually after we do that we can actually kind of shift the paper outwards like that with this slant folded this way like this it's like a swivel fold so we did that and our structure again looks like this just to compare it with this side that we didn't do anything on Okay, and we're gonna do a rabbit ear fold over here. It shouldn't be too hard if you followed all the creases. Like this, again, you went from this, just did a rabbit ear fold like this. Now we're gonna kind of grab this corner that we folded right against the base here and gently shift it like this. Lift, freeing this layer from the inside of that rabbit ear. And then we're gonna flatten everything. So now this side of the corner here is gonna be aligned up with this side. That's how you know you did everything correctly. So our whole model looks like this right now. And we're going to repeat that process on this side. Don't worry, I'll show you step by step, just like the, on this side. So again, we start by creating that triangle thing over here. Like that. And then we fold this edge against this line. Like that. And then we swivel this part you take that part out lightly like this and then we do the rabbit ear so we take the crease here and then we squeeze this triangle up and line this edge against this slant like this and lastly we're gonna pull on this tab and free that layer on the inside of the rabbit ear and everything should be lined up over here as well these series of folds is just to create this cross looking pattern on the eye of the mask as you can see so now we're going to create that Kind of pattern and how we do that is shifting the layers a little to expose the colored side so what i'm gonna do is free this layer a little bit like that so kind of just shift it a little and then you can see that gap now and then flatten it so it's kind of like a swivel fold you're just shifting it a tiny bit after we shift this one we also want to shift this horizontal one so we're gonna shift it over here, move the layer out a little bit towards that side. So now this layer isn't gonna be lined up in the middle anymore. It's gonna get, go a bit over because we shifted this, this layer to create this pattern here. So we have kind of half of a cross pretty much. And now based off of this point that we had from before, we're gonna fold up a triangle and try to line this edge with this to create like a isosceles right angle triangle like that i'm gonna sharpen the fold and reopen so we have this crease here and then how we do the other half of the cross is we basically follow this fold again and we open up this pocket kind of like a square base just open up this pocket 
and just line it up here. Okay, so after we have that crease, we're gonna unfold everything here. And I'm just gonna shift this one a little bit. I'm gonna shift this part a little bit outwards like this. And in turn, that will bring this part over a little to create this colored pattern instead of the no color, as you can see on this side. And the corner won't be sharp anymore. It's gonna have a little shift. So again, we follow up, we fold up this part and then we recreate that square base thing that we folded from before. We just recreate it. Now you can see we have this, this part as well. And our last part is pretty simple actually compared to the ones we did before. So we just fold the square part back in half with that crease and then just fold it over a little bit like that slanted like this and then you can shift this part a little more and when you're do actually doing it it's a bit easier than the ones we just did before so the structure again if you were just to fold it flatly it will be like that but if you want to make the pattern so if you just fold it flatly it will be like that but obviously you want to expose the pattern a little more so just shift the layer behind the primary white layer that's how you get this pattern on this side so after we finish that side, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So again, we start off by creating this stripe by just shifting the layer like that. And this horizontal one as well, just shift the layer a bit over the middle line. And now we're gonna fold the crease from this point outwards like that and remember that we're aligning this edge against this one so that this is a right angle so like that and then we create that square pocket like this and then we unfold everything like this we shift the corner like this from behind a little so that on this side there's this shift let me just adjust it so it looks like this with a shift here and then recreate that square pocket like this. So we have this stripe here and lastly our last stripe we're just going to fold this part over fold it like this just try to make it symmetrical on both sides and just shift this part up a little to make the last stripe. And before we continue, we're gonna just fold these parts that were over the middle line, just fold them in a little, like that. So they don't overlap each other. And to make this stripe kind of shorter. So our model looks like this right now. And what we're gonna do next is we're going to create the mouth part. We're just gonna fold this part up, this whole part up. So from this point to this point, we're gonna fold this up. So basically this corner towards this point. But it's easier to look at these two points. So now you can kind of see the nose of the clown mask. Now you notice how the face is too flat. It's almost like a pumpkin. So we're gonna go to the back and the intersections, if they're clear on your paper, should be this point and this point that you're looking for. You're gonna line these two points against this one. So fold it like that, just to make the face shape slimmer instead of like a jack-o-lantern. So again, these two corners right to those two points. And then the bottom corners, we wanna just make sure it's a little bit rounder. So just fold these corners in like that. It's not rocket science. Just as long as the face doesn't look too squared, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna turn back to the front and you'll notice how the face shape is much better looking in its current in its current look, it's it's more 
Instead of a pumpkin, it's more narrow. It looks more like a mask. So now we're gonna fold this triangle down like this. And we're gonna create the mouth. So we're gonna kind of squash a triangle and make a trapezoid. How we do that is we open it up like this. And then we kind of make sure everything is stretched out. And the trapezoid should be like an upside down trapezoid. It's going this way. Or else the lips will look weird if they're not kind of going that way. So now we fold this trapezoid back up and then fold the lip back down a little bit. Just to create the top and bottom lip as you can see. So now after we're done the lip, over here we're gonna work on the nose. So we're gonna fold the bottom of the nose inside like that just to make it look more round and we can reach in the nose and pinch it a little bit to make it look more round like this. And the rest is just to shape the mask and make it more three dimensional. So we can make a little ridge here, folding a little slant, but close to the middle line and then fold right on the middle line, create a little corner here. And then we can fold this part in to lock it. We can do the same thing on the side over here. We can do a little pinch here. Right before the stripes, fold, make it 3D. So just make a little triangle like that. And then fold this edge all the way to the back, like this. And then the same thing here. Just mount and fold this. And again, right before the stripes, we're gonna line this corner to this corner, like that. And then we fold this part all the way back, like this. We can make this part lower if we want, but that will be how we make the clown mask. As you can see, you can make final tweaks here and there, but hopefully you guys enjoy this model. Let me know in the comments what you want to learn next, and I'll see you next time.